What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gogh and today we have got the Armenian striker that is Monsiviev. I think I think that's how you say it, I'm not 100% sure, I think it's Mom, Movisian or something, no, Movisian, that sounds right. Um, basically this is a squad that we use, I mean we've got a Russian league slash BPL hybrid, it's kind of like just the BPL defenders. And as you can see he goes from 76 overall to 79 overall which is quite a good improvement to be honest. There's only one more on the pace which isn't that relevant because you know one isn't going to make that much of a difference and he didn't feel that fast anyway which is annoying. His dribbling has gone up by four which is brilliant. You can tell a little bit that his dribbling has gone up. Uh, he's a bit clumsy. Um, but the main improvement was basically his shooting and I think that went up by seven which is incredible. As you can see this is his in-game stats. His dribbling is 84 which is pretty good. His finishing is 80 something as well, and his shot power is 86, so that works well with the 82 long shots as well. So you could tell this guy is going to be an absolute monster at long pogs. Um, we're going to move on now to his information, and as you can see, his left footed, which is to me a huge problem because I'm not used to using left footed players. His attacking work rate is high, and his defensive is low, which is really good for a striker because hell, what else do you want? You don't want him running back, do you? Unless you want Wayne Rooney in your team. Acceleration is 88 and his sprint speed is 89 so that means this guy should in theory be fast but I'm only going to say in theory because I've used him and I know he's not that quick so there's a warning for you guys straight away his pace is a huge lie. We're going to look at the bad first and one of the worst things about this player is his weak foot. There's so many chances where if it was on someone's right foot on a right footed player then they would be scoring a, like 100% like like, there's an example and you're going to see in a minute I face palmed for like for days honest to god it was the biggest fail of my life watch this open goal and he just he just p-rolls it past the post look I've even added a little image there just to show you how much of a face palm I actually actually did it, I, oh. do you know when you just do something you can't fathom how bad it actually was that was it I mean his weak foot was so bad but like I said guys when you actually get him onto his left foot he can have some really good shots for example, this one here, where it does the outside of the foot and it hits the crossbar. When that came off, I, I was I was really really hoping it had gone in because it would have been one of the best goals I scored. This one's a long shot from fairly far away. The keeper probably should have done better with it, but what are you going to do about it? As I said before, guys, this guy is from Armenia, and that is I think he's like one of two players in the entire FIFA game that is from Armenia. I'm not actually sure where this country is or anything about it to be honest with you, but it's it's interesting to see a new nation getting quite a high. Highly rated player up there. Um, he plays for Spartak Moskva and he only costs around 200k. Uh, 200k, fucking hell, I won't be paying him for that much. He only costs around 20k, which is relatively cheap. Um, the good thing about this guy is, and this was his main thing, and I can't I can't stress this enough, his heading is so good. It says he's 76 heading, but that's such a lie. He's 6 foot 1 tall, and he seemed to just win every single ball. I think this one's against Fellaini. He manages to get in front of him, jump, and win the header. But I think there's been a few goals where I've scored the header, and it's just been like, how the fuck has he managed to do that? Like... I just don't get it. This one's quite an easy one, but I mean, you'll see in a minute the finish just goes straight into the top corner with the header. Even if the, if even if the guy had Casillas in there, he still want to save that. Um, another strange thing about this guy is he's got no traits. I was expecting him to have like the power header trait or something like that, or long shooting or something, but no, nothing. Now that is the best header that I scored with him. Um, Bufaso, whatever his name is, crosses the ball in and. I can't even say his name again, Musizian. He just comes in at the back post and heads the ball in. Now, I chose this guy out of this week's Team of the Week. I chose all three of the strikers, and I've used Olich, I've used the Barbo, and this guy was the nice... He was like a hidden gem out of the three of the strikers. At Barbo, I was expecting to be good, and Olich, I would always always expect him to have a really good long shot because it's just Olich, and I really like that player. But this guy, I've never really heard of him before, and he was... It was quite good. I mean, I was really, like I said, I was really surprised at how good he actually was. When you see 79 overall, you think, okay, yeah, he's going to be average. But that's it, guys. And uh, I've put a few clips in at the end showing his strength, pace. This one was a cross. He managed to use his weak foot to cross it into Dumbia to get ahead on the ball. Uh, we've got a lot of fluky goals as well, like this one. Look, that was a first touch, and he's managed to chip it over the goalkeeper. I'm not, I don't quite understand how that came off, but I'm not complaining. It just shows that he's a good goal poacher, as well as a good header of the ball. And we've got another goal here. It is initially his right foot, I believe, that he strikes the ball with. It 
comes off the keeper, but he's there to poach the goal, so it's fine. I forgive him for that. Basically, guys, this guy, I would probably give him a 6 out of 10, which isn't the best. But for the price, I don't think you complain too much because, like I said, he only costs around 20k. And I think he's dropping more and more every single day. So I'd get him maybe next week. His price might even drop down to something like 15k, and I would not be surprised. Um, is he worth the price? Mm. If you want an inform badly and you haven't got a lot of money, then I would suggest to get him. But if you would rather have the better player, I would go for someone like Eto, Wellington or Dumbia, someone like that. Anyway guys, that is it for this week's player review. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, sub and like. Thank you. Goodbye.